Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Antoinette, a New Zealander who is raising my two children in Germany. I have a six-year-old Amelia and a two-year-old Matteo. They were both born in Germany and so far raised in Germany. And in this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you five things that really shocked me about raising my kids here in Germany. When I use the word shocked, I'm not meaning it in a bad or a negative way. I am meaning it in more of a, well, that is totally different to what I am used to kind of way. And one of the awesome things about raising kids in a foreign country is that it really opens up your eyes to other ways of doing things. Since living in Germany, I've realized, wow, there's not just one way of raising happy healthy children there's actually other ways that are pretty great as well I've made quite a lot of videos about parenting in Germany I go into a lot more depth than my other videos but I think in this video I'm just going to talk about like little things that I've noticed that are just very very different to what I'm used to in New Zealand okay so one of the things that really shocked me when I first came to Germany especially when I first became a mother in Germany and I was just more aware of what was going on around me in regards to kids I was really shocked to see little kids walking around at lakes and rivers and places like that totally naked and nobody cares in Germany. It just seems like something really natural. We live really close to a river with a really nice sandy area and in the summertime it's absolutely packed with kids just splashing around having fun and most German kids they will be wearing a swimsuit but it's definitely not unusual to see a little kid running around naked. Usually they'll be potty trained but usually this happens when maybe the parent might have forgotten to bring the swimsuit or something like that and they'll just say oh just you know go naked and nobody cares nobody cares and in New Zealand you just would not see this well at least not these days when I was growing up in the late 80s early 90s it was actually pretty normal to see kids you know at the beach naked but I don't think you would do that anymore in New Zealand as a parent in New Zealand parents are paranoid about child safety and they would never dream of letting their kid run around naked in public and in Germany I think it's just looked at in a different way I think nudity is just something more natural in Germany and honestly as a New Zealander I've kind of still got that built in my mind that you can't you know your child cannot be naked in public no way and I, I still don't let my children run around naked at the river but I don't think it's bad that other parents let their kids do that it's just tiny little kids you know there's nothing it's innocent and when you really think about it what is going to happen the parents are right there it's just a tiny little child you know running around you can see like a little bum or something and it's cute and like I don't know I just think that Germany they're just more they just have a different mindset when it comes to nudity in general and um, it's just it was something that took me a while to get used to but I think it's cool I think it's fine Okay, so another thing that really shocked me when I first saw this in Germany, and it's kind of funny because this is something I do with my kids all the time in Germany. It's totally acceptable, totally normal to do this. If a child in Germany needs to desperately go pee pee, number one, the parent will take them over to a tree, pull down their pants, kind of hold up their legs and let them pee on the tree or like under the tree. It doesn't matter if you're in like a semi kind of public place, it is totally acceptable to let your child pee on a tree tree or like under a tree. I actually noticed this for the first time when I was nannying in Germany and the little boy I was looking after desperately needed to go number one and I remember asking the lady next to me where the closest toilet was and she said to me I'll oh, just take him over to that tree all the kids do pee pee over there and I was like what are you sure and she said yeah yeah and I was like okay so I took him over to pee over by the tree. I also think one of the reasons this surprised me is the whole kind of nudity thing in New Zealand people are very you know prudish when it comes to nudity in general so it surprised me that you could just pull a child's pants down and you know let them go pee pee in a public place like that and also it surprised me because Germany is such a clean orderly country so I just wasn't expecting there to be like kids peeing under the trees but when you think about it you know most Germans they kind of know that this is what happens and they just don't go too close to the tree and it's totally fine and honestly this is just so convenient as a parent in Germany because if you are a parent you will know that children 
children need to go pee pee at the most inappropriate times and it's usually when there's no toilet in sight and so it's really convenient to just be able to take the kid over to a tree and they can go pee pee and you know you usually have some wipes with you and you know you clean them up a little bit and then you're good to go you know this does not apply for number two I have to say it's only for pee pee but you know there's been so many times when I've been somewhere out and my child needs to go pee pee and you know if they couldn't go under a tree I don't know what I would have done we would have had to like leave the place that we were so um, it's kind of cool in a way I kind of like it okay so another thing that really shocked me in a good way in a positive way is that here in Germany at least the area of Germany where I live in Franconia it's pretty common to see a big box with like a lid on it full with kids toys um, like toys for the sandpit so there will be buckets and spades and diggers and things like that and these toys belong to the playground and so all of the children are allowed to play with the toys and I think this is so awesome and so there might be just like a little sort of mark on the toy to let you know that these toys have to stay at the playground but um, this is this was really an unusual concept for me in New Zealand if you had a box like that filled with toys you know public toys for all the kids to play with I am pretty sure that by the end of the day they would all be gone kids would have gone off with them like stolen the toys and in Germany you don't see kids stealing the toys they have one of these boxes at the playground really close to where I live and it just absolutely amazes me that the toys that were in there months and months ago are still in there I definitely think that this kind of reflects German society in general that people are just very very honest and trustworthy it really shocked me in the way that I just couldn't believe that the toys would still be there at the end of the day and also the fact that that it was just a cool idea I thought it was a really really great idea to have these um, toys for everybody to play with you know sometimes you'll be out and about with your kids and you'll spot a playground and you know you don't always have the big bag full of their own sand toys to bring along and so it's just nice to have them there and also you know with the whole sharing thing I've talked about this in previous videos that a lot of German parents they let their child decide whether they would like to share their toys instead of like forcing their child to share Cheer. But I think when there's toys there that belong to everybody, you know, they belong to the playground, so they don't belong to anybody, um, then, you know, there's no way a child can say, that is mine. You know, it kind of encourages sharing a little bit more if they're sort of communal toys rather than this is mine, this is yours, you play with that, I play with that. So I really like that aspect of it. And so just say, like, my little boy Mateo will be playing with a digger and a little boy wants to play with it, I can say, say well these toys actually belong to the playground so you know you can maybe play together and um I don't know I just like this I think it is really really cool also another thing that really shocked me about parenting in Germany is also in relation to the playground it is very common to see a German child alone at a public playground even just the other day I was at the playground with Amelia and Matteo and a little boy who was about probably six or seven he came along on a scooter all by himself and he was just hanging out at the playground all by himself there was no parents around nobody else around that he knew and he was just playing in the playground and he seemed like a really sweet little boy he was so kind to Matteo who was playing with him in the sand pit and um, we were there for probably I would say a good maybe half an hour and this little boy was there the whole time by himself and it's pretty normal to see this in Germany I think parents as I've mentioned in other videos they put a lot of trust in their kids they're not so paranoid about um, kids walking around on their own and um, I don't know for me it's just it was something that surprised me when I first saw young kids hanging out at the playground on their own because you wouldn't see this in New Zealand but I guess in Germany it's normal people are maybe more trustworthy I don't I just don't know I don't know the reason behind this is it because Germany is safer I don't know is it because um, parents just put more trust in general into their children um, and it, maybe it's just giving children a little bit of freedom I, I don't really know but I think I don't know how I would feel about letting my six-year-old at the playground on their own I don't know I'm sort of really a little bit in the air about the subject so 
how do you feel if you're a German parent and you're watching this do you let your six seven year old go to the playground on their own for like maybe half an hour or something like that if the playground is close to where you live would you do um, this <laughs> lastly something that shocked me and actually amazed me was the fact that a lot of German children are already learning to speak English at kindergarten age and so at Amelia's kindergarten there is a native speaking English teacher that comes once a week and teaches the children to speak English like super basic English but they're already starting to learn English at that age and not all of the kids have to learn but if they want to they can go once a week for an hour after kindergarten and learn English and a lot of the parents are wanting their children to learn English and so there's a lot of kids in this class obviously my daughter growing up bilingually she doesn't have to go to this class but a lot of her friends are learning to speak English already and it's really cool sometimes when I'm taking Amelia to kindergarten or picking her up we always speak English to each other always and the other children will hear us speaking English and quite often one of them will come over and say I speak English too my name is Antonia or my name is Samuel or something like that and they get really excited about hearing us speaking English with each other and the fact that they can speak a little bit of English too so I just find this so adorable and kind of amazing that at that age these children are already learning a foreign language even though these are German kids in a German speaking household they are already learning how to speak English and it's also really nice for Amelia too to have her friends pay a little bit of an interest in the English language because you know you want to fit in you don't want to be too different when you're that age and Amelia is different in the way that her friends see her speaking English with me and they speak German with their parents and it just you know Amelia is a little bit like the odd one out so um, it's nice for her to have you know other people interested in English too other kids so guys those were five of the things that really shocked me surprised me amazed me about raising kids in Germany there are so many other things that I could add to the list but I will save them for another video raising my kids here in Germany as a New Zealander has just been the most eye-opening wonderful experience and I can't wait to share more of my experiences with you thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up I would love you to subscribe to my channel I know that around 80% of my viewers are not subscribed so if you would subscribe that would mean the world to me and feel free to follow us on Instagram I post lots of photos of my life here in Germany and I will see you again really soon bye